So this is the first situation to find the or to observe the Doppler effect. The situation is the apparent frequency of sound heard when the source is in motion with respect to an observer at rest. That means observer is at rest, source is in motion, most probably moving away from him. Then what is the apparent change in the frequency by the observer or change in the frequency observed by an observer who is at rest. So let us assume the case like this. This is the observer, let us assume. Oh. Initially, a source let us say S1 and this source is at a distance L. This one is at T is equal to 0. After some time, the source 1 has moved to some other distance. What about this distance? The source is moving with a velocity Vs. The observer is at rest. Whenever the source is moving from one point to another point with the velocity Vs, let us take the time taken for the change in the position is T0. So this total distance will become Vs t naught. So, at t is equal to 0, the body source at distance L, but at a t is equal to t naught, the body is at a distance yes, V s t naught. So, the total distance travelled by the body from O is L plus V s t naught. So, at t is equal to 0, this source has emitted a crest. The source has emitted a crest. It will reach the observer at time t1. So therefore the T1 is equal to, time is equal to, actually speed is equal to distance by time, time is equal to distance by speed. So the distance is L with speed V. At time T0 also the source which is at a distance L plus Vs T0, it has also emitted say crest and this crest will reach the observer after the another time. So what are the observations still left? Now when the source has changed the position from S1 to this one, so we can say this position as S2 also. At position S2 means when observer and source are at a distance L plus VST0, the source has emitted a crest. And this crest will reach the observer. So at t is equal to t naught, the source has emitted a second crest. This one is T2 is equal to T0 plus L plus Vs T0 by V. So at time T is equal to T1, the source has emitted a crest, it has reached the observer at L by V time. At time T2, T0 plus L plus Vs T0 by V. Such like that at Tn source has 
emitted the n plus 1th crest it will reach the observer at a time t n plus 1 is equal to n t naught plus l plus n v s t naught by v so what is the time period between the first crest to the n plus 1th crest that is nothing but the difference between t n plus 1 minus t1 per the seconds or per unit time so this calculation will gives the apparent change in the frequency the doppler effect on the first case entante observer stationary la undi stationary la unnadu ante rest position la unnadu source observer nundi dooranga velutundi so initial ga source s1 ane position la undi observer nundi s1 ane position ku unna tond distance l idantha t is equal to 0 dikkara కొంత సమయం తర్వాత ఈ సోర్సు ఈ ఎస్ టూ అనే ఇంకో పొజిషన్కి మారింది ఇది డాటెడ్ లైన్స్లో రిప్రజెంట్ చేసాం ఇప్పుడు అబ్జర్వర్ నుంచి వచ్చిన డిస్టెన్స్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ విఎస్ టీ నాట్ ఈ విఎస్ టీ నాట్ అనేది ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఇక్కడ కొన్ని డిస్టెన్స్ ఎందుకంటే సోర్స్ విఎస్ వెలాస్టీతో మూవ్ అయింది టైం టేకెన్ ఏమో టీ నాట్ సో ఎల్ ప్లస్ విఎస్ టీ నాట్ ఈ సోర్స్ ఎస్ వన్ దగ్గర ఉన్నప్పుడు ఒక ఒక క్రస్ట్ నిమిట్ చేసింది ఆ క్రస్ట్ అబ్జర్వర్ని ఎల్ బై వి టైంలో రీచ్ అయ్యింది ఇదే సోర్స్ ఎస్ టూ దగ్గర ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇంకొక క్రెస్ట్ని రిలీజ్ చేసింది ఆ క్రెస్ట్ టీ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టీ నాట్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ విఎస్ టీ నాట్ బై వీ టైంలో అబ్జర్వర్ రీచ్ అయింది సో ఈ విధంగా టైమ్ ఎన్ సెకండ్స్ దగ్గర అది ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్త్ క్రెస్ట్ని రిలీజ్ చేసింది ఏదైతే సోర్స్ సో దీనికి వచ్చిన ఈక్వేషన్ టీ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎన్ టీ నాట్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ విఎస్ టీ నాట్ బై వీ ద ఈ రెండింటి మధ్య ఉన్నటువంటి పీరియడ్ డిఫరెన్స్ అంటే టీ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ లేదా టీ వన్ ఈ రెండింటి మధ్య ఉన్నటువంటి చేంజ్ని టైం పీరియడ్ అంటారు ఆర్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ చేంజ్ అంటారు ఇప్పుడు ఆ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ చేంజ్ని కనుక్కొని మనం ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ చేంజ్ని కనుక్కోవచ్చు సో నెక్స్ట్ వీ షుడ్ ఫైండ్ అవుట్ పీరియడ్ ఆఫ్ ఫైవ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టీ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ మైనస్ టీ వన్ పర్ యూనిట్ టైమ్ ఆర్ పర్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్రస్ట్ సో దేర్ ఫోర్ టీ ఎన్ ప్లస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఎన్ టీ నాట్ ప్లస్ ఎల్ ప్లస్ ఎన్ విఎస్ టీ నాట్ బై వి మైనస్ ఎల్ బై వి పర్ యూనిట్ టైమ్ so here if you expand it n t not plus l by v plus n v s t not by v minus l by v whole divided by n this l by v and l by v gets cancelled the equation what left is t n plus 1 minus t1 is equal to n t naught plus n vs by v into t naught whole divided by n so if i take the common n n into t not plus or you can take nt not as common 1 plus vs by v whole divided by n n n gets cancelled this tn plus 1 minus t1 is time period that's why t is equal to t not into 1 plus vs by v so period of the wave ante entante time difference per number of crests so tn plus 1 minus t1 by n tn plus 1 vachi nt not plus l plus nvs t not by v minus t1 vachi l by v whole divided by n number of crests so it is the nth crest nt not then expand chesthe l by v plus nvs t not by v minus l by v whole divided by n ikkada ఈ ప్లస్ ఎల్ బై వి మైనస్ ఎల్ బై వి క్యాన్సిల్ అవుతాయి 
So Tn plus 1 minus T1 is equal to Nt0 plus Nvs T0 by V whole divided by N. Pi naught into numerator lo Nt0 ni common thiste 1 plus Vs by V whole divided by N. N N cancel out thing. So T is equal to time period of the wave is equal to T0 into 1 plus Vs by V. So we got T is equal to T0 into 1 plus Vs by V. This is the time period, equation of the time period. Then what about the frequency? Frequency nu is equal to 1 by t. So when 1 by t is applied on the LHS, same will be applied on the RHS also. Therefore, 1 by t is equal to 1 by t naught into 1 plus Vs by V. 1 by t is nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus Vs by V whole power minus 1. What is 1 plus Vs by V whole power minus 1? If you, if you apply the expansion, binomial expansion, 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube, so on. So we will neglect the x square and x cube on higher order terms because this value we are treating as less than 1. Therefore, our expansion is restricted to 1 minus x. So 1 plus Vs by V whole power minus 1 will be approximately equal to. One minus V S by V. Therefore, nu is equal to nu naught into one minus V S by V. This is the expression to find the apparent change in the frequency when observer is at rest and source is moving. If source is moving towards the observer, if source is moving towards the observer Vs will be replaced by minus Vs because it is the overlap of the sounds therefore in this case nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus Vs by V when source is moving away from the observer Apparent change in the frequency is a function of 1 minus Vs by V. That means uh, frequency decreases. When source is approaching towards the observer, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus Vs by V. Automatically, the, bra the thing which is in the bracket is a higher order term. That's why the observer will observe the higher frequency. So T is equal to T naught into 1 plus Vs by V. Frequency which is nu is equal to 1 by time period. So our reciprocal mano equation ki rundu vayipla apply chaste. 1 by t is equal to 1 by t naught into 1 plus Vs by V. So nu is equal to 1 by t and the nu gabati. Nu into nu, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 plus Vs by V whole power minus 1. 1 plus Vs by V whole power minus 1 ki binomial expansion man apply chase na 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is equal to 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube and so on. E higher order terms in one neglect chest 1 plus Vs by V whole power minus 1 and the approximate 1 minus Vs by V ki equal out and then. So, nu is equal to nu naught into 1 minus Vs by V. So, if source is moving towards the observer, source and the observer ki observer wipe move out of the Vs minus Vs to replace chate in the same way. nu and nu naught into 1 plus Vs by V ga maar thundi. First case lo, 1 minus Vs by V and the decrease, thakko value out of the same source observer and chief dooranga vel thun apadu thakko frequency out of the apparent change. अधे दग्रिगे होस्तुन अपड़ु एक्को फ्रीकेंसी वोंटे दें 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 दें